Hi y'all, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to go through on how to draw a box plot. Okay, so what is a box plot? A box plot is also known as a box and whiskers plot. Okay, uh, because there's a box and there are two whiskers, the left whisker and the right whiskers. Okay, so this is a graphical representation of the five number summaries of a data set. So what are the five number summaries? It starts with your minimum value, which is the smallest data in your data set, followed by your quartile one, quartile two, which is also the median, quartile three, and finally the maximum value, which is the largest data in your data set. And if your data contain outlier, you can also plot it using a dot in the box plot, okay? So the box uh, typically starts from quartile 1 and ends at quartile 3 and then from the left end of the box you're gonna you are going to draw a line extending to the minimum value and to the right end of the box you will draw a line extending to the maximum value and there you have the left and right whisker of your box plot so this is a very simple example of a horizontal box plot Yes, there are two types of box plot, which are horizontal box plot, if you draw it on a axis, and a vertical box plot if you draw it on a y-axis. So why don't we try and plot a box plot using an example. I'm going to use the same example uh, illustrated in my previous video, which is chapter 1.4 part 1. It's about Pak Ma'il's cow, okay? So this is the two data sets that we used previously. Uh, the amount of milk produced by cow breed A and the amount of milk produced by cow breed B. So I'm going to recall on what we did in the previous video. We had um, calculated the value for Q1, Q3, and we had also determined uh, outlier for both data sets. So these are the information. Okay, so next. Uh, we just need to fill in the table with the remaining information. What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to um, collect all the five number summary for both data sets. Okay, so quartile two, which is also the median, you can get this uh, by using the same method used for quartile one and quartile three. Okay, and minimum and maximum value is, I think, it's very obvious. It's just the smallest and the largest data in your data set. So, by, so we're going to have this. Okay, I think this is very simple. I need not explain further. But I do need to tell you one important step. Okay, so everyone pay attention. Now, there is an extra step that you need to do before you start drawing. There is an extra step involved if your data set contain outlier okay which is you need to update your minimum and maximum value if exists outlier in any of the data set so let's take a look at data a so from previous video we had already determined that data breed a has no outlier so uh, the minimum and maximum value here is fine there's nothing to update here, but for breed B, since 105 is the outlier, so your maximum value here need to be updated, okay? Because the minimum and maximum value in box plots are the minimum and maximum value uh, when you exclude all outlier values, okay? So since 105 is considered as outlier, your, ma your maximum has to be updated. So now the maximum value is the largest number in your data set, which is not an outlier. So let's check since 105 has been excluded. Okay, so the next largest number is 85. And 85 is not outlier because if you can still remember, the upper boundary for data breed B is 90. So since 85 is smaller than 90, it shows that 85 is not outlier. So the maximum value here is 85. All right. Now let's take a look about uh, at the minimum value. 
Okay, is this all right? Well, since uh, 58 is not outlier, so this minimum value remains the same. You need not update it. Okay, so again, the minimum and maximum value in box plot are the minimum and maximum value by excluding all values for outlier. Okay, so now we are ready to draw the box plot. So let's go to uh, a grid line. Okay, of course, you need to use a grid line in order to draw a box plot. Or at least you need to have a properly scaled axis. So you can either use the y axis or you can also use the x axis. So for this video, I'm going to show you on how to draw a horizontal box plot. So therefore, I'll be using uh, the x axis. Okay, so let's try to scale the x axis here. So by looking at the table here, um, I need to make sure that my x axis contain the value 58 and it needs to extend up until 105 so probably this is how the axis is going to look like okay so this is properly scaled what i mean is uh, each box i i make it for five numbers you know like from 55 to 60 from 60 to 65 so this is properly scaled okay so i'm going to start to draw the first box which is for breed a so my box is going to start with the whisker okay you can you can start drawing however you want it you may want to start from the box and then then only you draw the whiskers or you might want to start from the whisker and so on okay as long as as long as you have the box plot okay so this is my box plot for breed a so let's take a look um, minimum 70, quartile 174, quartile 276, quartile 379, and maximum 82. So this is a perfect box plot for breed A. Okay, so moving on, let's continue to draw the box plot for breed B. Okay, so this is how it would, it would look like. The minimum is 58, and quartile 170, quartile 275. Quartile 378 uh, and the maximum is 85. And not to forget, you also need to plot the outlier. There you go. Okay, so you can use an uh, you can use a dot, a star, or or an asterisk to to label your outlier in the box plot. Right. Um. So we have managed to draw the box plot perfectly. It's properly scaled and everything is according to the table. And finally, you have to label your box plot. Okay, so let me show you how to do the labeling. All right, so you need to label all the five number summary. Minimum, Q1, Q2, Q3, maximum. Same goes to the other box plot. Minimum, Q1, Q2, Q3, maximum, and not to forget the outlier as well. And of course, you also need to label which box belongs to which data set. Okay, so the first one is breed A, followed by breed B. Okay, so this is a perfect box plot. We have uh, successfully draw two box plots on the same axis. All right. So in the next video, I'm gonna explain to you on how you can use box plot to explain about your data distribution. All right. So see you in my next video.